and sources close to the story say the repairs should be completed before any additional damage is allowed to occur. Again, drivers are encouraged to avoid the area until later this week when the cleanup crews have completed the job at hand. On Wall Street today, the Dow Industrials fell. What? But, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Say again. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have received word on a breaking news story that could have a high amount of significance for us in this area. We have a reporter standing by at a La Crosse Elementary School where the story seems to be unfolding. Gerilyn, can you hear me and what can you tell us about this incredible story? No, no. Yes, I can hear you, Brad. And let me tell you what has transpired. Our sources tell us that most of the students here do not truly understand where the food they serve in this school cafeteria comes from. And in a shocking development, it appears their parents do not know where the food comes from or how exactly it gets to the school either. Eye-opening news, Gerilyn. Is this lack of knowledge contained just to students and parents in a certain area of La Crosse or is the problem more widespread? Early reports tell us that this problem is not just contained to this area. In fact, sources say that many children and families nowadays have no idea how the food gets to their table. This is uh, concerning. Uh, now we do Sorry know to interrupt, Gerilyn, but we have updating developments on this story and we think it will shed further light on this issue. Allison, are you there? Thanks, Brad. I'm live with farmer Jess Ecker on the Ecker's Apple Farm. Thanks for being here, Jess. Why do you think so many children today don't know where their food comes from? I think that lack of knowledge really stems from advances in technology. If there was one thing you'd want children to know about the food that you grow on your farm, what would that be? I would want them to know that the fruit coming from this farm was grown with the utmost respect for the environment and humans. We don't use any harsh chemicals. It's fresh, it's local, and it's extremely healthy for you. What does it mean for your farm to be involved in the Farm to School program? The Farm to School program has been a wonderful outlet for our fruit. We are happy to be supplying the La Crosse school districts uh, with the fruit and educational materials. It's a great outlet for the small apples. Sometimes a, a five-year-old can only eat an apple that's this big, and we're happy to be able to supply that for them. So all in all, what we learned here is really food for thought. This reporter senses hope in knowing all students will learn where their food comes from and why it is so important not only for them, but for the support of local and regional farmers like Jess here. On Ecker's Apple Farm, I'm Allison Moore, WHMA-TV. Thanks, Allison. The events of the day are surely eye-opening and there will be more to come. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Can you say rutabaga? Yeah, that would be silly. Okay, do you know what food additives are? Um, stinky. The problems sound complex, but they don't have to be. Over one in three Wisconsin children are overweight or obese. What if La Crosse County had a program that helped children learn where food came from and how food choices impact their bodies and community? Learn about the Farm to School program by visiting our website. Then get active turning if into when. Get active. Cause community change. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are staying on top of today's big story. Why don't children today know where the food they eat comes from? The Pentagon has issued no official statement at this time, but we have learned farm to school programs have sprung up all over the country. Meanwhile, let's go back live to a nearby La Crosse County Elementary School where our own Gerilyn Fox is standing by with the updates. Brad, I am standing here with Joni Ralph, Supervisor of School Nutrition for the School District of La Crosse. And I think what she has to say will help us all better understand the scope of the challenge we are dealing with today. Good morning, Joni. Good morning. Let's start by asking, why do you think farm to school programs are important for today's kids? It's really important for a couple of reasons because we're combating more than a few issues. We want to increase the number of fruits and vegetables that our students are eating to help reduce obesity and then also get them to know where their foods come from. Joni, answer this sentence for me. To me, the biggest surprise about farm to school is... The biggest surprise is that kids go home and ask their parents to buy vegetables for them that they tasted at school. 
and that is just amazing to hear. Thank you, Joni, for taking time out to address what we all know is a very important subject. That's all we have for now, Brad. We hope to be able to speak to some of the students shortly if we're able to do so. I will be standing by. But for now, this is Gerilyn Fox, WHMA News. Well done, Gerilyn. What we seem to be learning is that schools involved with Farm to School are helping students understand where their food comes from and how their food choices impact their bodies and the environment. We'll keep Gerilyn on location and look forward to her future reports. So what we hope you are seeing is that students who go to schools that implement farm to school programs seem to have a better understanding of where their food comes from. Now, let's ask ourselves who gains the most from the farm to school program when it is utilized to its fullest capacity. If you guessed students, you would answer correctly. Gerilyn, what do you have? Brad, I am here with area students trying to ascertain whether or not they know where the food they eat comes from. I think that's a question everyone wants to know the answer to. So, Navea, where do you think the food that you eat comes from? Um, mm, um, uh, Isaac, where do you think the food that you eat comes from? A dairy farm. Um, um, vet farmers that are giving us vegetables and fruit. Like orchards and stuff, maybe? The farm. I like the farmer school program because the food comes from a farm. Can you tell us what your favorite food item here at school might be? Beef. I really like apples. Apples and carrots. Strawberries. I like the salad bar. The La Crosse County Farm to School program is a collaboration between all five public school districts in La Crosse County and the La Crosse County Health Department. La Crosse County Farm to School brings minimally processed, locally grown foods to our kids and helps ensure that the kids actually eat them. So where is this incredible story leading us? For now, we have learned that when students know firsthand that fruits and vegetables can be delicious and good for them, that knowledge can help them make smart food choices throughout their lives, and just as important, we learned that farm to school approach helps children and their parents understand where their food comes from and how it impacts the environment and communities. This story will continue to unfold in the next few days and weeks, and you can bet WHMA News will be there when the news happens. For now, I'm Brad James, WHMA News, saying stay tuned for your regularly scheduled programming, Attack of the Flying Tomatoes, already in progress. This has been a special news broadcast from WHMA-TV News Channel 7.